Dear friends, this time, let's dive into an essential topic. What processes do you follow for planning and scheduling preventive maintenance for plant equipment? Here are some recommended answers and insights to help you feel more confident and prepared when addressing this question. Answer. Planning and scheduling preventive maintenance, PM, for plant equipment is a critical part of ensuring operational efficiency and reducing unplanned downtime. My approach follows a structured process that includes understanding equipment needs, setting up a robust scheduling system, and ensuring that tasks are executed effectively. Here's the step-by-step -step process I follow. 1. Understanding Equipment and Manufacturer Guidelines The first step is to gain a thorough understanding of each piece of equipment in the fleet, including its operating conditions, manufacturer-recommended service intervals, and potential failure points. I review the technical manuals and maintenance recommendations provided by the manufacturer to create a baseline for what maintenance tasks are required and at what intervals. 2. Defining Maintenance Tasks Based on the manufacturer's guidelines and operational experience, I break down the necessary maintenance tasks for each piece of equipment. These tasks typically include Fluid and filter changes Lubrication of moving parts. Inspection of wear components, e.g., belts, hoses, tracks, tires. Calibration and adjustment of mechanical or hydraulic systems. Replacing high wear parts before they fail. In some cases, we may add extra tasks based on usage patterns or historical data, such as checking for specific components that tend to wear out faster in, in particular environments or conditions. 3. Categorizing equipment by usage and risk. I classify equipment into different categories based on their usage intensity and the critical nature of their function. For example, high usage equipment, such as excavators or loaders that operate daily, requires more frequent checks and services. Critical equipment, whose failure would cause significant delays, also gets higher priority in terms of maintenance frequency. Low usage equipment, which might be used occasionally, can follow a less frequent maintenance schedule but still needs regular inspections to ensure it is ready when required. 4. Creating a maintenance schedule. I use fleet management software to create and manage the preventive maintenance schedule. This system allows me to input maintenance intervals for each machine based on engine hours, mileage, or calendar time. I prefer using a time based and usage based scheduling approach. Time-based, equipment is serviced at regular time intervals, e.g., every three months. Usage-based, maintenance is triggered after a specific number of operational hours or miles, e.g., every 500 engine hours. The software tracks each machine's operational data and automatically alerts me when maintenance is due. This prevents any overlooked service intervals and ensures that no machine is missed. 5. Coordinating maintenance with operations. Effective preventive maintenance planning also involves minimizing disruptions to ongoing operations. I work closely with the operations and project management teams to schedule maintenance during low-demand periods or project lulls. For example, if a particular machine is not needed during a certain phase of the project, I will schedule its maintenance during that time to avoid any interference with critical tasks. For equipment that is in constant use, I arrange maintenance during planned downtime, such as after working hours or over weekends, to ensure minimal, minimal impact on productivity. 6. Resource Allocation and Team Scheduling I ensure that maintenance staff are properly trained and equipped for the scheduled tasks. This includes Assigning qualified mechanics or technicians to specific maintenance tasks based on their expertise. Ensuring that all necessary parts, tools, and consumables are available before the maintenance begins. Planning labor resources so that we have enough personnel to carry out multiple maintenance jobs simultaneously if necessary, without overstretching the team. 7. Performing maintenance audits and inspections. Once the maintenance tasks are completed, I conduct post-maintenance inspections to ensure that the equipment is functioning properly before it is put back into operation. This includes running operational tests and verifying that all service tasks were performed to the required standard. 
Additionally, I perform periodic audits of the maintenance process to ensure that our preventive maintenance practices are effective. This helps in identifying areas for improvement, such as adjusting service intervals for better efficiency. 8. Tracking and analyzing maintenance data. All maintenance activities are logged into our fleet management software. This includes details on maintenance performed, parts replaced, downtime incurred, costs involved. By analyzing this data over time, I can identify trends in equipment performance and make adjustments to the preventive maintenance plan if needed. For instance, if I notice that a particular type of component consistently fails before its scheduled maintenance, I can adjust the frequency of inspections or replace the part earlier. 9. Continuous Improvement I am always looking for ways to refine the maintenance schedule and improve the process. This might involve Revising service intervals based on wear patterns and actual usage data. Implementing new technologies, such as predictive maintenance tools that use real-time data to predict when equipment will fail. Training staff to ensure they are aware of the latest maintenance techniques and safety standards. By following this structured process, I ensure that equipment is maintained proactively, downtime is minimized, and project schedules are not disrupted by unexpected machinery failures. This response highlights a comprehensive and organized approach to planning and scheduling preventive maintenance, with a focus on aligning maintenance efforts with operational goals, minimizing downtime, and continuously improving processes. We've also shared our recommended response to What processes do you follow for planning and scheduling preventive maintenance for plant equipment? These insights are designed to support you in demonstrating your expertise and knowledge effectively. Remember, if you find our content valuable, please subscribe, like, and comment on our YouTube channel, Inframechanizer. It's completely free, and your support helps us reach more people in the industry.